All right, time for another random lot. And this one is uh, PlayStation 1 games. And uh, this isn't really the way I'd package them, but uh, $50 random PS1 games. Let's see what's inside. So this is from the uh, same seller as the $100 PS3 box that we did uh, that guaranteed 140 in value, but we paid 100. So the same general description here states guaranteed value for PS1. Now he doesn't put a value on it this time. So just guaranteed that we get $50 back. Um, so might not be that much more. Uh, random games, um, com most come with original boxes, original artwork, you're guaranteed to get above your purchase price in games. Generally, six to 14 games, no more than three sports games, and some there are none, and none of the lots have duplicates. So he did well in the PS3 one, so I figured, all right, let's do the PS1. And uh, I definitely want to do PS1 because uh, my PS1 collection, very lacking. Honestly, I just buy uh, complete in box, um, pristine copies on eBay for the PS1 games that I want, but for the most part, pretty lacking. And this is not how, <laughs> this isn't really how I'd package PS1 games, but you know, I uh, guess we gotta work with what we got here. So I'd be fascinated to see what's actually in here because 50 is not a lot. 50 is not gonna get you far buying PS1 stuff. So uh, I low key was also thinking like, eh, this one might not work out well. Like we'll get value, I have no doubt about that. But rather, it's probably not gonna be anything super interesting. And uh, the worst fear, if anything, is uh, greatest hits. I mean, the red cases on uh, PS2, PS3, well, PS3 is the full red cases, and PS4. Those I can sometimes live with, but I can't stand the green PS1 games. All right, so that's, this is interesting. This is, this is one way to do it. <laughs> what is going on? Wow, this is going to be um, pretty quick, huh? Much uh, shorter <laughs> video. Fifty That's what I'm saying. $50 doesn't get you far. And, uh, I mean, could you not have found a box that fit? Because that's priority mail. I mean, you could have... I don't think this guy did good on shipping. But we'll see. I mean, considering their jewel cases, I'll give him that. He took care of them, made sure that they weren't damaged in transit. We're gonna pull them out one by one. Cause we only got a few of them. So I'm, I'm hoping that they might actually be pretty good this time around. Let's see, I have them only feeling like what? One, two, three, like six game, five games. <laughs> All right, we NASCAR Thunder 2002 in a, uh, very nondescript little CD case we got going on here. Wow, look at that. Well, okay, so this isn't a game I have, for what it's worth. Uh, that actually looks really, <laughs> that actually looks really good for a PS1 game. Not bad, right? I mean, for PS1, not bad. Uh, except anytime I buy a game from Japan, any anytime, it's always in immaculate condition. They just take such good care of their stuff. And oddly enough, it's always a leap of faith because whenever you order Japanese games, it's always a stock image. They love using just stock images. They never take a picture of the actual case that you're getting. But then once it's in the mail and you get it, it it's it's perfect. The U.S. you get pictures of the game and then it looks it it's even worse once you get it. Next one is Driver Two, uh, not complete jewel case, and. Uh, I don't have driver two, but there's a weird st stain on it on this uh, on the lettering right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to make out. Very light. Tomb Raider two. Uh, this I definitely have, and I'll tell you something. My copy's looking a lot better than this one. <laughs> than this one. So here's what we're looking for. <laughs> That's what we want. This is what we got. Um, yeah. So. And this uh, this disc is okay. Yeah, we'll just we'll just toss this. <laughs> we'll just toss that aside. Premiere video though. I love how we always get discs from um, some kind of defunct uh, video store. Premiere video. That's not. 
I don't know. It's mediocre, I guess you'd say. Actually, how's mine? See, that's that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking for there. Doesn't that just make you feel a little something downstairs? I'd love to be optimistic, but this is looking like uh, one of our worst unboxings. Which sucks for this guy, because I really love that PS3 one he did. That was really good. A lot of quality games um, that were mostly complete. And I don't even think we're... Well, what's amazing is I didn't even start opening this, and I was like, oh, I hope we don't get greatest hits. I didn't even get that. This one, this definitely isn't... Uh... Right, let's see this one. Oh, okay, we got... Ooh, actually, a lot of loose. Like, four loose games. So let's let's get these guys free. Gauntlet Legends is the first one, uh, a game I do not own. So nice to have the disc. Some of these will be fun to pop in for a little bit, you know. Gauntlet Legends. Then we got the uh, Ready to Rumble Boxing to round two, and then oh the Namco Museum. I actually do have that. I have that complete in box as well. So. Got a second loose one there. Uh, ready to rumble looking. That's a very clean desk. See, it's fun with the PS1 stuff that you can always uh, look at the quality of the desk because that's always some of the most beat up ones. We got a first uh, Gran Turismo. Also have this as well. Also, wanted to point this out. I love in the, the PS1 games, uh, and a lot of the games from back then had this, but as you can see down there, the little hotline number. For help and tips, uh, a 1-800 and uh, or 1-900, excuse me, a 1-900 number. You would uh, call that, and they'd charge you by the minute uh, for some live help with your games. Just so 90s. Um, that was really popular back then. Not just on PS1, but uh, also uh, a bunch of other platforms. And it's they had different operators. Like I believe one was dedicated directly from a lot of Sony's first party to, uh, studios, not studios, but. A Sony first party had one general hotline that all the different publishers had their own hotlines So that was always kind of a, a thing. I remember uh, well, What is this Oh, wakeboarding and I think yeah, there's no front cover for that. So that's just missing completely I've never even heard of this game. This is like uh, when they did like uh, There was like BMX too wasn't there BMX Actually, you know, now that I think about it, I feel like this was a part of one of those, uh, like, PlayStation Underground demo discs. Either that or it was, uh, or the inline skating one, too. There was an inline skating one. And I really wanted that, because I used to do a lot of rollerblading back when I was a kid, before I got into skateboarding. This is our last game, and it is in a Blu-ray, it's in a Blu-ray disc, or case, Tekken. I do have a Tekken Complete. So, uh, a little unnecessary here, but still a great game. Ooh, this is not looking all that good. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is not the best, uh, this might be our worst unboxing. But, um, you know, it's, uh, you try to be optimistic about these things. Only 50 bucks, so, at the very least, didn't waste too much money on this one. Because uh, I'm looking at not much salvageable opportunity here when it comes to uh, the games. And I've got the, the value counter in the bottom, as you all know. So I'm sure we've met that threshold. But uh, there's just really nothing I need here. Um, a lot of the, uh, most of these I have complete already. Um, actually, how many total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 games. Um, yeah. If anything, I'm more disappointed that not one game had uh, manual or uh, box art. No, n The original jewel case is nowhere to be found. Um, that, if anything, is more upsetting to me. I would much rather take the games that I already have um, complete again rather than games I don't have that are pretty much missing uh, everything. So this wasn't very good. Now, if we go back to my listing, I think my boy really reeled me in good here because that PS3 one came out great. Uh, generally, there's no more than three sports. Yeah, that was fine. Uh, uh, what am I looking for here? Most, if not all, come in original boxes with original artwork. Most, if not all. None of them did. 
It's a monumental day on the channel when it comes to our unboxing experience. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. This one was uh, pretty poor, but we got another unboxing video and I'm sure it was fun for you to watch me uh, get this stuff. And what's funny is I opened saying, oh, I don't want any greatest uh, green greatest hits, but uh, I bought PS1 because I'm lacking on the PS1 and uh, I accomplish nothing out of here when it comes to my PS1 collection. But that's why when I shop PS1, I just shop specifically perfect complete in box singles. You really can't mash them together like you can with some of the other stuff. Uh, so actually, hold on. What would you rather have? <laughs> a PlayStation 1 Classic or $50 for these boys? 25 you know, on sale? Or these? I'm thinking this is one of the very, very few scenarios where we can confidently say the PlayStation Classic uh, takes the crown. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube. Uh, and more unboxings that uh, hopefully are never like this one again. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mystic Ryan. And that is it. I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.